To be a Zoom master, you have to be at least a Zoom expert. You might not know the speech contest like the contest chair, but you must be a Zoom specialist. You must be an IT savvy person. Otherwise, the challenge is too big because the contest chair will rely on the Zoom master to create the online contest and to manage the online contest during the contest day. If the contest chair is a Zoom master specialist, then probably the Zoom master can be trained by the contest chair. But Still, the Zoom master should be IT savvy. This is the minimum requirement. Otherwise, it's too challenging to train a Zoom master who is not an IT savvy. To be a Zoom master, step one is to collect information. Collect information from all the role players because this one, it takes time. The contest chair need time to collect all the information you need. Step two, to confirm the master plan with the contest chair. This master plan should be provided by the contest chair. But the contest chair and the Zoom master need to go through the plan and thoroughly understand the entire diagram, the flow and the process. Step three, this is one of the biggest tasks. After we have our participant management plan, we need to convey this to every participant before they sign in. This will save a lot of time. This will save a big hassle. This will make the entire flow smoothly. Don't underestimate this plan. If you plan well and if every participant follow the guideline accordingly, the entire contest flow will be efficient. Set flow plan flow management. This participant management has set a good ground for the flow management. Without this part, the flow management cannot be as efficient. Once we have this participant management established well, the flow management will already win half of the battle. This flow management is about the interaction, coordination between the Zoom master and the breakout rooms, when the rooms should be open, when the room should be closed, when should the contestant leave the room, or when the contestants should join the room. So as the judging team, the chief judge and the ballot counters. Step five, smooth transition within all the role players. We need to think through every flow and in any flow, there are two ends. Make sure both ends of the flow are closely communicated, connected and coordinated in order to make a smooth transition. Everyone know exactly what happened next. Everyone stand by for their turn, especially during the contest, the stage transition must be very smoothly run. Step four, make sure all the role players can function online. Every role need to be trained if they are not IT savvy or if they are the first time. Last but not least, arrange on the contest day. As a Zoom master, your focus broadly are two aspects. The first aspect is the participants, which include managing waiting room, managing audio and video. To manage waiting room is to make sure that all participants are renamed accordingly before you admit them into the Zoom. Managing audio and video is to make sure all the participants turn off their video or audio when they need to. Otherwise, you will have to by force mute the participant or stop the video breakup room and the flow. Manage breakup room is to make sure all participants who are assigned to the rooms will join the rooms. Announce clearly the time to close the rooms and to open the rooms, particularly when the table topic contestants are in the virtual holding room. They need to know specifically when they can join the room and leave the room. In terms of chief judge and uh, ballot counters, when they have to leave the main area to the ballot counting room, 
The Zoom master must open the room in time for them to join, and then close the room for them to leave and be back to the main area. Broadly, these are the two areas the Zoom master need to focus on during the contest. Now, get into the detail: how to manage. Waiting room. First of all, you need to modify the setting. Look for the video icon. Click on the video icon and then click on the video setting. It will prompt you to this basic setting. Click on the general. You will see the view more setting. Click on that and you will opens up the advanced setting. Scroll down all the way to meeting advanced. Look for the waiting room. Turn it on. You. Can Can customize the title, local, and description. Once you click on this. Your, this window will pop up. You can write. You can write a message to the participant when they sign in. You can also elaborate on what you want them to do. After that, when you sign into your Zoom, at the bottom is a row of all the key functions. When a participant Try to sign in. You will see this pop up from the participant. Then click on this participant icon. This window will pop up, and you can see clearly who is signing in. You see one person is waiting, and now you can manage either admit this person or. To remove this person, according to the guideline, this person should have renamed himself or herself. If he has not, then don't admit him. If you know this person, it's good that to contact him to let him know that what he needs to do in order to be admitted. Because the contest chair would have already informed every participant that they need to rename their Zoom accordingly. Now, even the participant who are already in the Meeting, you can still remove this person for if you have to pre-assign breakout room. Why do we need to pre-assign breakout room? This is to save a lot of work. As a Zoom master on the contest day, you would have saved a lot of work if you have pre-assigned the breakout room. Let's see how it works. When you schedule a new meeting, scroll all the way down to the meeting function. Make sure you take this. Enable join before host and click on breakout room pre-assign. Click on this create room. Once you click on create rooms, it will pop up this window. This is blank. Then you will click on this plus sign to add rooms. I have added three rooms. You can rename your room accordingly. Key in the email address here and hit enter. If you don't hit enter, it will not get down here. This is the reason why we need to get the web email from all for for all the participants who need to be in the. Breakout rooms. Without the Zoom email, we cannot pre-assign. Once you have pre-assigned the rooms, it shows here. Now you sign into the meeting and click on the breakout room icon. You see the pop-up window, and you see the three rooms has been assigned. Once all the participants start signing in, and once The participant who are assigned into the room shows up. Their name will begin to show in the room they are assigned. Now you don't see it because they have not signed in. You see this one. The difference between having the pre-assigned room is this one. Once you sign in the Zoom, you click on the breakout room icon. You see the pop-up window immediately. With the pre-assigned room, but otherwise, once you click on this breakout rooms icon, you will see this new window asking you to create breakout rooms. After you have created the breakout rooms, similarly, when you have the participant join the meeting, either you will see the participants appear in the assigned room accordingly. Just now, this room. Once the participant have joined the meeting, this one will turn into this. You can move the participant to any room freely. You can also exchange the participant freely. After you have seen all the participants are all in the rooms, then you opens up all rooms. Before you open up all rooms, you can still rename or delete the room if you have to. Now, once you have 
have opened up the rooms. It shows join. It means the system will send a notice to all participants, prompting them to join the room. And the participant should pay attention to this message and click on join. Once I click on join, they will be in the room and this green color will show that they are in the room. At the end, you can close all the rooms. And once the room is closed, all the participants will be automatically transferred back to the main room. However, for the function of closing all rooms, there are options that we need to consider. The first one is allow participant to return to the main session at any time. For the contest, this one should be unchecked because we do not want the participant to leave the breakout room without the permission. And we want to set a countdown timer, which means to say that once you close the room, the room will not be shut off immediately. If you set it 30 seconds, uh, 60 seconds. All the participants will be transferred back to the main room after 60 seconds. That means at the time when you close the rooms, you should announce to the contest master and all the participants that the room is closed now and you will be sent back to the main room in 60 seconds or 30 seconds. Then all the participants in the rooms should turn the audio and video off and get ready to be sent back to the main room. As a participant, to join the room as a matter of accepting the invitations, just click on join when you receive the notice or when you're prompted with the message join the breakout room. To leave the room, there are two aspects. One is to leave the room individually. Another is to leave the room altogether. When the room is closed, everybody will leave the room altogether. But in the table topic contestant hold up area, the virtual breakout room, one contestant will leave at a time. At that point, the participant will just click on leave icon and leave one by one. If the participant need to move to another room because of many reasons, one of the reasons is the Zoom master have wrongly assigned or if the contest chair requests so. The contestant cannot move it themselves. Only the Zoom master can move them to another room or there are two contestants need to ch exchange the rooms again only the zoom master can exchange participants from different rooms the participant cannot do it themselves the direct involvement of the participant only in two situations one is to join the room and one is to leave the room individually that's all this is how a zoom master function this is how to be a zoom master